Hey, how's it going guys? I am back with a new electric vehicle. That's right, bought a new car. And you might say, ooh, what's that? Brother, why? So before you click away, hear me out. At least watch until you see what's inside this video. So this is a refreshed 2024 Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive. Now MSRP for this vehicle is $38,990 if I turn this video into black and white. So technically this vehicle is under $40,000. We'll debate whether this $2,000 red color is worth in in a different video so yes this is the best electric vehicle i could get for my needs in 2024 i understand it's gonna be different for different people but i will talk about what other vehicles i consider in this price range so i'm gonna go ahead and break this video down to these categories so it's easy to follow and talk about why this might be the best electric vehicle you could get in 2024 but first i'm gonna drive about a couple hundred miles so i can go home so let's hit the road and talk about these categories now the first category is going to be charging now most of you guys know without me talking about it in detail tesla hands down has the best charging network infrastructure now this is going to be interesting next couple years because tesla is now allowing some of the other manufacturers to charge on their network but as of this recording really tesla is made for tesla network including how when you back up to the actual charging station cables just long enough to reach the back of this vehicle which is where the charging port is the native integration is just really hard to beat when i'm pulling up to a charging station it'll tell me how many stalls are available and then also how many cars are actually incoming so I have the exact idea if that charging station is gonna be full and when you're doing long distance trips like this one I'm coming back from a job right now it is so crucial I'm trying to get home on time now to add to the charging experience this vehicle has pretty decent charging speed it's rated at 170 kilowatt now the battery size on this is actually not that big it's only 60 kilowatt hour battery 57.5 usable kilowatt hours and add to the fact that this vehicle preconditions the battery as you're pulling up to the charging station long as you navigate towards that using this in the forty thousand dollar category ev i think that's really hard to beat and the second category is going to be the buying experience now i have purchased an f-150 lightning in the prior time and i just had bad experience with the service center and the dealership from ford so i wanted to see what it's like to purchase a tesla and i have to tell you hands down the easiest car purchasing experience ever you literally just purchase the vehicle online and you know exactly what you're paying for and rest of them is all done on the app the app will notify you of the estimate delivery times you make an appointment on your app all the paperwork's done on the app you literally just walk up to your vehicle and drive away so if your schedule is super busy and you don't really have time to deal with dealership, possibly a markup, all that stress, yeah, there's none of that on this vehicle. So that's why I chose Tesla. Now the next category is gonna be comfort. Now this vehicle is extremely quiet, smooth, and it just kind of floats in the air as I'm driving on the road. Now I have to say F-150 Lightning is pretty close to this. This is lower to the ground, so I can hear the road noise just a little bit more. But other than that, I mean, yeah every single bump i'm going through it's just so smooth and quiet but man this thing is just really comfortable to drive like i'm driving about three hours right now and i am really appreciative of that and add to the fact that this has heated steering wheel when it comes to winter that's gonna be awesome but man the lumbar support on the seat it's really supporting my lower back right now and comfort was a big thing for me. Next category is gonna be value. Now this one's kind of arguable because there's Volkswagen ID4, which is cheaper than this vehicle if you get the tax credit. Now I am living in a state where I can get state tax credits because I'm pretty sure I owe at least $3,000 in state tax. This one's also arguable because Tesla keeps changing the promotion for this vehicle along with other Tesla vehicles. I mean, whenever Elon wakes up in the morning, if he feels like it, he could you know, do 1.99 APR or maybe there's more incentive in the future, but having this vehicle under forty thousand dollar i think is still really good value now i should mention that the other vehicle i consider is model y because technically that does have a better value at point of sale because when you get the tax credit up front considering that the base model model y is a long range it is a better value but for long run the one thing i was concerned about model y there's just so many of it right so when that model gets refreshed imagine how many model y is going to flood the market i think trying to sell that model y is going to be difficult at least my prediction is yes you could lease it but there's one more thing I love about this vehicle more than Model Y well I'll talk about it a little bit later so next category 
and that is gonna be the battery type and the range now unlike most electric vehicle this model 3 the real wheel version have a battery composition called lfp and most long-range teslas even when other manufacturer they use nmc or nca and simply put this vehicle you're able to charge to 100 percent at least once a week and that's gonna be totally fine which means in real life the range on this I am fully utilizing the 272 miles for full charge and combine the fact that this vehicle is extremely efficient and aerodynamic this thing has drag coefficient of 0.219 which is incredible yes that's a little bit less than Model S for example this thing is competing with Porsche Taycan and Hyundai Ioniq 6 in real life I am experiencing that so when I'm on highway right now going like 65 70 I'm still truly getting close to 272 miles for full charge. I'll try to make a different video about this topic because I understand that LFP batteries, when it comes to winter, it's going to lose some range more so than the other types of batteries. But considering most of my long trips going to be in the fall season and the summer season, it is beneficial for me. All right, so the last category, this is going to be super controversial, is literally the look of this vehicle. I'm just going to be real with you guys. The interior lighting in this thing it's incredible the fact that i can change the ambient lighting to different colors and even the exterior it just looks so good <laughs> i know that's super subjective let me know in the forty thousand dollar category which ev looks the best from the outside and that is why this is the best ev in 2024 for me and my utility of it right because i'm not trying to carry a lot of things all i need is a small efficient vehicle from go from a to b and i'm gonna do a lot of long distance on this thing so as i was editing this video i just realized i forgot a couple categories so we'll call these bonus categories so the first bonus category category is going to be essentially a built-in dash cam now tesla called this sentry mode when you're not driving it's supposed to be awesome right you don't have to run a usb cable to your dash cam you don't have to worry about dash cam running out of battery when you're parked too long and this is an improved dash cam compared to the previous generation model 3 the front camera is now over 2k in resolution the file compression is really easy to read on your computer but there's one huge problem with it now that i use it for a while and i'm working on a video called 10 things i hate about tesla model 3 uh, I think it's 10 things so far but in $40,000 class EV other than Rivian R2 that's coming in the future no one does this better than Tesla right now so I wanted to mention that but one more category I totally forgot to mention and this is probably hands down no one can ever touch is the fully self-driving capabilities supervised right and the reason I forgot this topic is because I haven't actually used it so yes it's there and I'm not convinced yet nor do I have a hands-on experience that's why I have these mounts so i'm gonna safely mount the 360 camera of my car and i'm working on this video next so what do you guys think did i buy the best ev under forty thousand dollar in 2024 let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching until the end guys till next time take care i'm gonna duck over they're coming they don't know surprise <laughs> what's this <laughs> this is our new car Where are you going? <laughs> so, what do you think? Oh, oh. It's YouTube! <laughs>